Hello Retro Community. Today I want to show you the DTR, the digital tape recorder for my Kim 1. Kim 1 was one of the first home computers ever produced by Moss back in 1976. This is not the original one, it's a clone, but it's uh, fitted exactly like the original. It's not an FPGA implementation, it's with a real 6502 chip and uh, the real memory on the back side. So let me show you our uh, memory expansion and another I.O. expansion to make it complete compatible with the original. Um, let's turn it on by inserting here power. So the DTR will immediately fire up, setting up Wi-Fi, connecting to my home network and waiting for orders. But ah, here we go. It's ready to go. On my screen you see the web interface of this little DTR. This is the file explorer. Let's just go to the base. Here we go. This is what it looks like. I can select slots until this little thing is full. On the terminal you see my Kim1 terminal. Yeah, we are at uh, address zero zero, focus chuk, zero zero, or whatever. Before we load something on the Kim One, we have to set a um, decimal flag at space um, at address F one. It needs to be zero zero. Otherwise, nothing will work. Again, yes, that's it. Check it, F one. It's zero zero. So if we want to load a program, we need to go to address eight uh, one eight seven three. This is the the internal loading routine of the Kim one. Here I must select a program that's worth <laughs> a little timer. I can show you what it makes, what a, what what it does. I want to load it, so I press space to go to address 1873 and then G for go and here play and it's playing hopefully it works okay it's loaded and it's jumping back to address 00, zero. we go to address 200 because here you see the start address of the program so 200 zero, two, zero, zero, space and go <gasps> Nothing happened. Wait, not nothing. Here you can see all digits up showing zero. Let's start our clock. It's a stopwatch, basically. We can stop it, we can play it, we can stop it, we can reset it, and we can play. Ah, uh, yes. A really the reset button. <laughs> the most important thing of this little Kim one. Reset it. Now, let's say we want to save a program with this DTR tape recorder. We need to set the load addresses and the end addresses. So the start and the end. And, and, and important low byte first, high byte afterwards. They have to be set into address 17F5. This is the first thing. Zero, zero. It, uh, the program starts at um, 2022. Two, two. So zero, zero is the low byte. Yes, this is correct. This must be zero, two dot. Now the end address, it's um, zero, two, five, eight. Um, so five, eight right here. Dot saves it. And zero, two dot. That's it. That's exactly what we want. And the save routine is at 1800 space. And now we can save the program. First, I press record on my tape recorder, which is just like you expect. Press record and play at the same time. And then G, go here. And then we are recording already. G That's it. 
this program is saved. This works quite good. So um, this, it's a perfect implementation and I can use this little Kim now as a real good computer. I can load, for example, let's go, let's go back here in the overview, the complete file explorer. Let's go to this slot. It's basic. I've loaded basic right now and um, you see the start address of this basic is, hey, hey, come on, come on, focus, 4065. And if I start this program, he asks me about the memory size. I say, everything I have, terminal wide, no matter. Do we want Sinus? For sure we want. And here we go. This is one of the first basic implementations by Bill Gates. Amazing, right? This is code by Bill. Hey, Bill, how are you doing? <laughs> no. So, um, really cool feature of this basic is I can save programs direct to tape and it's working. Like I, 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 I type save and hit return and press record and play on this device and it's saving my basic program. This is actually cool. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, um, pay a visit to the links I show you on the uh, in the description to this video. It's a link to the PAL-1, the Kim-1 clone. You can still order it in China by, from my good friend Liu Janning. Nice guy, by the way. And I give you the link to the DTR. This really cool device by Willem Anderville. He built this thing for me and it's working so good. Uh, it's amazing. So, and I give you some links for the Kim One, like Hans Otten's site. He's a Dutch guy and um, he has the largest collection of Kim One software online right now. So, see you soon. Thank you.